professors and uh, old friends. It is a great honor for me to uh, to participate in this uh, workshop and uh, give a, a presentation about uh, the sources and how it's of atemia. So my uh, topics is uh, it's management tools and the quota system for the exploitation of atemia's uh, resources in China. But from this map, you can see this is a main uh, Atimia resources in China, uh, including Bohai Bay area, uh, Yuncheng in Shanxi province, and Inner Mongolia uh, in Xinjiang province, Qinghai province, and Tibet. But honestly, there are no any, there isn't any quota system for Atimia harvesting management in those lakes in China. And there are also no nationwide regulation for the Atimia resources. But, local, but there are some local policies or rules about Atimia, but differ, to, differ out in different uh, regions. So for instance, in Ivy Lake, the local government had issued official documents to stop the harvest of Atimia by the reason of the environment protection. Uh, pro, uh, protection. In uh, Qinghai province, there are regulations about Atimia resources uh, protection. But in Bohai Bay, it is uh, different, compli uh, complex, because uh, there are different uh, ownership of different uh, salt works. So I will. Here I will, uh, I will make a brief introduction about those uh, Atimia resources in China, one by one from um, uh, east part to the west part. So first about uh, uh, Bohai Bay. So along the Bohai Bay area is along the coast line. There are about 20 plus solar uh, salt works with uh, about 250,000 hectares of uh, evaporation pond. The salinity range of uh, Timian pond is um, 80 to 150 ppt. Uh, the average depth of this uh, Timian pond is about two to three meters. There are two uh, models of Timian production. One is almost a natural growth in the south uh, water ponds with a limited uh, human intervention. Atimia grows in the system of uh, salt production. Another type is a semi-intensive Atimia culture pond, which more human uh, intervention, like fertilization with uh, chicken manures to blue the algae for Atimia and uh, inoculation with uh, nopli into the pond in the spring when the season started. The management of Atimia production normally is controlled by the owner of the salt works. Some of the state-owned salt works, they contract with the individuals and charge the fee from the, uh, for, the, for the area of the Atimia production. For instance, that's uh, the pounds contract price. Um, the every, uh, on average, is about one thousand to one thousand two hundred dollars per hectare. The harvest harvester will do both harvesting of Atimia biomass and the seeds during the production season. So about uh, uh, in Bohaibe area, Atimia biomass production season is from May to September. Harvest by this, uh, you can see the picture, by this kind of uh, uh, model <coughs> tag, yeah. Uh, products will be sold in fresh or frozen to the aquaculture market as a feed of a different species. Price of um, uh, flash biomass is about $0.3 per kilo. Frozen biomass is about uh, $0.5 per kilo. The harvester in Bohai Bay collects a seeds 
by the the, the this kind of a net, the deep deep net in the pond along the wind direction. But uh, for the seeds harvest, there are two seasons. One is uh, in the springtime, uh, during me, uh, May and June, it's about one month. Uh, another one is uh, three months is in the autumn season, from September to November. The roses will be traded with brine immediately after harvesting and stored in the cold storage. Why basis is the uh, highest value at senior product in China. In the past two, three years, the price of Bohai basis is even higher than JSLC's in Chinese market. Price, price of Atimia dry, uh, Bohai Bay dry is in, in last year, 2023, it is about uh, 80 to $85 per kilo. So next one is uh, about Yuncheng. It's, uh, Yuncheng Lake is in Shanxi province, the middle of China. The salt production uh, in Yuncheng uh, has a long history, which has started uh, almost 2,500 years ago. There, uh, the, the colorful picture ponds are the saltwater ponds. The total area for Atimia production is about uh, 15 square kilometers in Yuncheng Lake. The average dip of this uh, pond is about 0 0.5 to 2 meters. The harvest season for the biomass, for Atimia biomass, is from uh, April to October. The uh, state owned its chemical company has the uh, property of the Salt Lake. They manage the Atimia biomass production by themselves, from harvesting, cleaning, fr uh, freezing, till they sell the frozen uh, blocks of Atimia biomass. And this is uh, the picture shows that a worker, a, a worker uh, one worker is harvesting the biomass with the net in the pond. The current uh, annual production of a frozen biomass in Yuncheng is about 2,000 to 3,000 metric ton per year. Before it could be 5,000 metric ton. The reason of less than before it is due to the heavy flood happens in 2021. The salinity in the Salt Lakes is lower, in the Salt Lakes is lower than after the flood. About uh, sister production in Yuncheng, the, the company even doesn't have its assists because the, the assist output is uh, very limited. Only some of farmers who live around the lake have its assists. The total assist uh, production uh, in, uh, in one per year, it would be uh, yeah, less than 10 metric ton in row. And uh, for the processors, the recovery rate of these raw materials is uh, about 40 to 50 percent. The recovery rate is means cease from raw to the dry, the finished product. So the, this year, until today, I got the information that there are no cease production in Yuncheng. Yeah. So this is uh, some pictures. Uh, about uh, the harvesting of biomass in Yuncheng. You can see that it's like they are cleaning, they're uh, harvesting, and uh, that's uh, the frozen block of a product. So next one is uh, about the Inner, Mon Inner Mongolia, Atimia resources in, in the Inner Mongolia. There are several salt lakes located deeply in the desert of the west of Inner Mongolia. There, the, the one picture, the name Miao Lake means lake with a temple. Another one named the Red Lake because of the color. There are four, five more small salt lakes in, the, in this area of the desert. Uh, but I couldn't get uh, more uh, ecological data about the, those uh, lakes, but they are Timia production every year. Half the season is in August to September. Maximum two months. Local government organized uh, the opening bidding for the harvesting license 
every five years. So the annual production of uh, seeds is a maximum 40 metric tons in row in those lakes. These two lakes uh, could produce about 20 metric tons in row. The west, the, the, the row system will be dried up quickly in the sun after harvesting. Therefore, the recovery rate for this, those raw material could be uh, high, very high. It's 80 to 85 percent. So this is about uh, Inner Mongolia. The next one is about the lakes in Qinghai, Qinghai province. So there in, in Qinghai, in Haixi district of Qinghai province, there are about seven to eight salt lakes, which uh, we can find at Timia. Uh, such like Gahai Lake, Big Chaidan, a, sm a small Chaidan Lake, and some others. The local government had issued the regulations on the protection and anim administration of Atimia resources was issued in 2003. It is, I, I could say that it's only local regulation about Atimia resources in China. The regulation is um, most uh, targeted and the detailed rules on Artemia harvest and the resources pro protection. It uh, stip stipulates the harvesting period from uh, 1st of August to the 31st of uh, October. And there are some, also some uh, measures to uh, protect Artemia resources in those lakes, for instance, then any harvest of the seeds should be uh, subject to a licensing system. Also like uh, uh, measure that um, it is uh, prohibited for the units and the individual to bring the flooring uh, atemiasis into the territory of these lakes, so on. So this, the Atimia harvest had been arranged follow the regulations since 2003. The output of the seeds from this area is a, was about 40 to 50 metric tons in row per year. However, five years ago, the harvest of Atimia seeds had been banned for the reason of environment pro protection. Those lakes areas become the restricted uh, restricted area. Nobody could get into lake sites now, except some part of uh, open uh, tourist uh, attractions. The, the resource is uh, stopped for the Atimia production now. So next one is uh, about uh, Lake Balikun Lake in Xinjiang province. So Xinjiang uh, Balikun Lake is, is a high plant salt lakes. Altitude is about uh, 1,500 uh, 1, meters, surrounded by the mountains. It is also developed as a tourist uh, attractions. Area of the lake is about uh, 110 square, uh, square kilometers. But dry season, it could be only 40 square kilometers. It is uh, separated in two parts from this uh, picture you can see by an artificial dam. East, east part produce atemia, west part produce uh, sodium sulfate. This year, the salinity of the east part is about uh, 160 to 200 ppt, very high. Every rich uh, deep of this uh, lake also uh, different by seasons, uh, from 0 0.3 to 1 meters. So it is, it's, it is dry. So the management of the harvesting is also limited. Local governments only impose the harvest, harvest period from the 1st of June until the 1st of September. So normally, if there are no any rains in uh, June, the harvest of the seeds would be uh, finished already before August. No more measures on um, control of the harvesting actions. Farmers who live around the lake harvest seeds freely. 
So farmers harvest seeds in the lake by also the net, deep net. Uh, Atimia processors, uh, I mean Atimia players, who is doing this business, buy the roses from the harvester at the lake site in a daily base. It is cost of the recovery rate of the balicun cysts is only about 30 to 35 percent. Balicun Lake used to be a very productive salt lake. For instance, in 2007, it's produced about uh, 2,000 plus metric ton in raw atemia cysts. It was because of there, there was a uh, flood into the lake before the June. However, the recent years, the lake had uh, shrank and shrank and uh, dried. The salinity of the lake water went to higher and higher. The output of the seas goes down. This year, it is uh, only uh, 15 metric ton in row had been harvested. So equivalent to dry is only a five uh, metric ton. So this is uh, here also uh, some uh, historical data of uh, the sister production in Balikun Lake. We could see even 10 years ago in 2015, it was still about 800 metric ton in, in, in row. Today it's uh, dropped to 15 only. So next one is uh, about the most famous uh, Atina resources in China. It's Abi, Abi Lake, in, also in Xinjiang province. It is the biggest salt lake in Xinjiang province. And uh, Abi area also had been established as a national a natural reserve since uh, 2007. The area is about 200 to 300 square kilometers. It had been uh, shrank a lot from uh, from report in uh, seven years 70 years ago it was about 1200 square kilometers this year the salinity is very high about 200 to 230 ppt before 2011 the management of atemia harvesting was by uh, uh, private companies who got the atemia harvesting right through the, the uh, competitive bidding, which organized by the local, local governments. But in 2011, uh, a company named Bai Feng had made a contract with the local government and got the harvesting right for 30 years. However, in 2017, local government stopped the uh, Atimia harvest in Abbey Lake. The reason is the environment of uh, Abbey Lake area had been destroyed by the large scale Atemia harvesting activities. The facilities and equipment of the harvesting and the living had been dismantled and moved out from the area. From then the lake is, is quiet. So Atemia production in uh, uh, Atimia sister production before 2017. The harvest season is uh, normally in the August to October. Harvest uh, method, method is, uh, is a little bit uh, uh, special because Ivy Lake has a wide shore. It is, it is difficult for the harvester to get into the lake to harvest and move the material out from the lake. Then they dig, they dig ditches on the shore along the wind direction and uh, canoling lake water into the ditch and harvest this by the nets in the ditch. The harvests were uh, organized in many groups in the record, we, uh, I, I see that uh, there were more than 50 groups with uh, several hundreds of uh, workers lived in this lake during the harvesting season. So we could see this is a harvesting, from the picture, this is a harvesting structure, construction uh, of the, uh, the, the, the channel and the, the brining pond. So IB also used to be a very productive 
on RT-MIA-SYS in the past. There are some historical uh, data. The most productive year is uh, 2016, just uh, one year before when the uh, government stopped it. The output was about 2,300 metric ton in row. Today, in 2024, I heard that Atimasis rarely has been seen in this Abbey Lake. Yep. So this is uh, Abbey. So the last one is about Qi Xiangcuo. Qi Xiangcuo is a, a salt lake in uh, Tibet, which is uh, also very special sources for China. So this uh, Qi Xiangcuo is um, uh, located in Tibet at uh, the altitude around 4,500 meters. The lake area is about 140 square kilometers. Average water dips is uh, about 10 to 15 meters. Current, current salinity, what I heard from uh, Professor Sui Li Ying, it's less than 40 ppt. So six years ago, in order to increase the income of the local people, the government had established a company near the lake with some uh, aid funds from other uh, big companies. So to, to uh, store the atimiasis and the processes locally. The company buys the raw seeds from the harvester, who are the local Tibetans. However, the company has no much technology of the processing and no sales networks. It was resulting a few years losses on Atimia business. So in 2021, the local government organized the open bidding for the uh, purchase price of raw materials from farmers. The bidder who, who offered the highest price could buy the raw materials from the company. The company will pay to the harvester, the local uh, Tibetans later as per the quantity of they harvested. So this, uh, the, the buyer normally is um, a Timia player who has uh, many uh, experience on um, processing and also have uh, commercial sales networks. So this, uh, this is about uh, Tibet, uh, yeah. So this picture is, uh, is uh, the harvesting uh, picture in this uh, Qixiang Lake. So the harvesting season is normally is in November, December, maximum 45 days. Uh, the pe people also, the, the, the farmers also harvest in the shore of the lake. But this year, since the salinity is very low, the seeds stay in the middle of the, of the uh, water. So it's nothing on the sur it's surface. So maybe this year I heard that they will, the harvester will have to use a boat to harvest. So there are also some uh, historical uh, uh, data on the production in this lake. So we can also see the, the, the output drop, drop down dramatically in the past two years. So this is all about uh, the, the resources in China. So I also summarize some um, production uh, record here for these uh, different uh, resources. And in can, you can see that uh, the Bohai Bay area is more stable but both uh, Balikun and uh, Qixiang Lake had went down. In 2014, we could uh, predict that the output of Atimia cysts in China would be lower again. We had seen Balikun already dropped for about uh, 45 metric ton compared with last year. And uh, since Qixiang Lake, Qixiang Zhou Lake the salinity in Qixiang Lake is also very low, so we, it's, it is not uh, optimist uh, sticks for this uh, lake also. So that is uh, all the harvesting situation of those uh, Atimia sources, resources in China. 
So we we have to be realistic about the, about this uh, exploitation of Atimia resources in China. The the production is limited by the amounts of uh, resources. Almost no more new resources would be uh, discovered in China. And the the yield of Atimia production uh, uh, Atimia mainly depends on the climate matic conditions of the year. People couldn't involve more on the increase of a production of uh, atimia. In the meantime, compared with um, the importance of, uh, of environment production and other industry in the same area of atimia resources, local government wouldn't take much consideration on atimia production to, to improve the local uh, economic so, except uh, Tibet. Uh. So, for example, for for instance, uh, it's, uh, in Abbey Lake area, there are uh, uh, salt production, chemical industry. There are also agriculture and the livestock industry. So, every one of those industry would be more important and higher economic value for the local uh, economy. So, this is uh, that's. The, 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 the situation, the reality. However, in, in case, so the company in the IB Lake, by phone, it's a still make effort to uh, reopen the, the, the Atimia harvesting. In case it's well ha happened, I'm sure that um, government will request a harvester why phone must to be a uh, uh, sustainable way to 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 do the atimia uh, operation uh, operation or production in the Abbey Lake. <coughs> so if ever it happens, we we believe that uh, that the management of IB resources would be a, a new model. And uh, I just heard from Thomas that I, I believe the maybe JSL model could be the best uh, reference for us. So that's all. Thank you for your time and. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you.